Today, I would like to talk about the Holy Spirit. I think it's important to know about the Holy Spirit. I'm going to read from the uh, New American Bible, um, the, uh, the um, St. Joseph edition. I'm going to read from the Acts of the Apostles, Acts chapter 8, verse 14. And I don't know how far down I'm going to read. I'll let you know when I finish getting down there. But let's start at 14. Chapter 8. And verse 14, this is about the Holy Spirit. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For it had not yet fallen upon any of them, they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hand on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. When Simon saw that the Spirit was conferred by the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money and said, Give me this power too, so that anyone upon whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, May your money perish with you, because you thought that you could buy the gift of God with money. You have no share or lot in this matter, for your heart is not upright before God. Repent of this wickedness of yours and pray to the Lord that if possible, your intention may be forgiven. For I see that you are filled with bitter gall and are in the bonds of inequity. Simon said in reply, Pray for me to the Lord, that nothing of what you have said may come upon me. So when they had testified and proclaimed the word of the Lord, they returned to Jerusalem and preached the good news to many Samaritan villages. We cannot buy the Holy Spirit. It is given to us by God. When we accept Jesus Christ as our, as our Savior, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. And um, of course, by laying on of the hands and by, and, and by direct authority. Um, we just don't receive the Holy Spirit because, uh, because we, just, we say a prayer or we, we, we read our scriptures. Uh, we receive the Holy Spirit when we receive Jesus Christ as our Savior and we're born again and have proper authority uh, laying up the hand and give us the Holy Spirit. Um, you cannot buy it. It's a sin to believe that you can buy the Holy Spirit with money. That's materialism and of the devil. Uh, the things of God are sacred and holy. God is holy. And God only gives you holy things, spiritual things. Things of the world or the things of the world. The things of God or the things of God. The Holy Spirit is a very holy personage in the God's head, in the Holy Trinity. Believing in Jesus Christ and have a proper authority to give Holy Spirit for you to receive is the only way it can be done. Um, a lot of people think that the Holy Spirit is is uh, is, uh, is is just you read the scriptures, you do some good works, and that's it. No, it requires a lot of work. It requires you believe in Jesus and. And everything like that. Just read, just read, um, just read um, the Acts of the Apostles. Right? It's written in scriptures. Everything's written in scripture but the Holy Spirit. Okay? Read it because it's very, very important for you to understand it. Everything is written in the scriptures, in the Bible. Okay? So, there you go. So, if you, the Holy Spirit, uh, number one, believe in Jesus. Number two, Proper authority will give it to you, that the apostles, 
you cannot receive the Holy Spirit uh, unless uh, the God gets to you directly or by authority given to God, to someone to give it to you. Just read the scriptures. Jesus, see Jesus? Look at the apostles. They were, uh, the Acts of the apostles, they were filled with the Holy Spirit in the upper room because, uh, because they all gathered together and prayed and the Holy Spirit came down. Nothing happens without God. That's spiritual. God does everything. God knows about everything. He'll give you, uh, well, he'll, if you want the Holy Spirit, believe in Jesus. Okay? Ex God in prayer. Can I, will you give me the Holy Spirit? God will send somebody to give it to you, authority, or, or, or he'll, give you direct, he'll give you the Holy Spirit directly according to his will. Now, how he does this, I don't know. I can't tell you. Like you, I just read. I just read scriptures. I just read the Bible, and I just read it. And I just read it to you. Now, I, now I read. I read the Acts of the Apostles, uh, chapter eight, verse fourteen, all the way down to what? Uh, I say twenty-five. Verse twenty-five. Okay, read it. Read it for yourself. Don't believe me. Believe the Word of God, written in the Bible. Don't believe me. Okay. I'm just giving you the good news. <laughs> I just say that's what the gospel means, right? <laughs> I'm just giving you the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the uh, I'm just reading from the Bible. All right, read it for yourself. All right, don't believe me. Have a good day, and remember, the Holy Spirit does exist. The Holy Spirit, okay. Um, and try to do your best. If you do, if you do believe in Jesus, if you are, if by any chance you do receive the Holy Spirit. Please do your best to always live a spiritual life, sanctifying yourself each and every day. Okay? Have a good day. Bye-bye.